<laughs> That'll be a good blooper. <laughs> Are you like, why? <laughs> is it hot in here? Hi, I'm Brandon Garnis, and this is my wife, Julie. We have been married 10 years, and it has been a wonderful 10 years so far. A big part of it is trust. Um, trust really makes it successful because I ruined that trust early on in our marriage. And being able to, you know, work with some of my faults early on in our marriage and just really allowing myself to trust in God fully so that in turn it can really make our relationship be solely, you know, on trust and just being able to adapt to each other's differences mm -hmm. because we come from completely different backgrounds. Yeah, that's a big thing is we are both so different and we're brought up so differently, saw so many different relationships um, as examples and we really had to adapt to each other and just accept who we were. You have to just be able to work with each other because you're two different people. You both do things completely different and so you just have to learn to trust fully in them and keep God the center of everything you do no matter yes. what. Um, we have a lot of fun. We joke around. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah. And we laugh a lot. Yeah, laughter's good. <laughs> mm -hmm. One of our conflicts is our differences in love languages. We both show each other. We love each other in different ways. And um, I, I receive love by acts of kindness and when Brandon sets a time aside for me, I feel loved. Um, he feels love with physical touch, like a lot. Sometimes I just like go in to hold his hand and then he's like, ooh, <laughs> yeah. And it's just so weird. <laughs> She's my wife. I mean, you know, you're <laughs> supposed to do that. I mean, we're men. Yeah, but just sometimes we don't agree on the time in place. So that's a conflict. We're pretty good at um, keeping everything, all of our feelings and what's going on in our in our lives on the table all the time for both to see. And so our conflicts are never really built up. It's like we handle them daily. And then we just learn to, you know, forgive quickly. Um, we don't let it just sit there and dwell and get heated to where we bring up um, conflicts of the past. Um, you know, we deal with the conflict that is the issue at the moment. Sometimes after a long morning and that's stressful and our, we're running late and um, it's been a hard morning with the kids or whatever, Brandon will call me. It's happened several times and we'll actually pray over the phone. Um, it just, when you go to God, it helps you stay level-headed and it reminds you that we're not in this alone, that God's right there and, and He helps us with our conflict. I want them to know something that comes from my heart, something that I learned early on in our marriage. Um, early on, for some reason, and it's probably issues that I have from my past, but I would belittle Brandon in front of my family and in front of my friends. And I think that my advice to couples would be to be so careful with your words. And you can make or break your spouse with simply by the words you use and the things that you say to them. And um, when, when we're in a heated conversation, yes, I wanna say things that are mean and hurtful, but I have to remember, are those words, are those things that I'm saying to him or want to say to him, more important than who he is? No, they're not. And I think that's something that we can all use in our relationships. And another thing is, you know, that's very important for, I think, for couples is to be your spouse's biggest fan. You know, always mm -hmm. just give them those words and stuff that they need to hear um, and just let them know that, you know, you're always there for them and you love them. I mean, it's because just those little simple things on a daily basis and stuff really can help, you know, a relationship grow to the level that it needs to, that it needs to grow. Mm -hmm.